guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. Today is a Tester Tuesday first impression in-depth look at Milani Cosmetics. Specifically, I am testing out the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. I also have some other products from Milani that I'll be testing out, but I'm very excited because I'm using all Milani brushes as well. I'll have all the products linked in the description box in case you would like to order anything. All of the products from Milani are actually 100% cruelty free. Very hard to find drugstore price points with really high quality products for 100% cruelty free. So I'm very excited to test out all of these products. I have an eyeshadow palette, some lipsticks and lip pencil, the brow kit and the bronzer and blush are also from Milani. I'm gonna do close-ups, check-ins throughout the day with my vlogging camera. Super unforgiving if you've watched some of my recent Tester Tuesdays. I think it gives you more true to life, natural light, and I do do a flash test and no flash. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, thumbs down if you don't, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's get started with the review. So the right side of my face has a primer and today I am using the Hourglass Veil Primer. The left side of my face does not have a primer. I have the shade in Warm Beige and Medium Beige 0405. These are a little bit on the darker side and I do love that it comes in a pump. So I'm going to try 04 Medium Beige. I think it's going to be like my summer color. The texture of this foundation is very um, gel-esque. It has consistency. It's not super fluid, which is nice. I am also going to be testing out the Milani brushes. These brushes, I was really impressed, are super, super soft. I use a brush on this side. I'm going to just go in. This is primed on this right side of my face. I have to say this immediately is a full coverage foundation, but it still looks really nice on the skin. This brush is super, super soft. I'm gonna go into my left side, which is not primed, with one pump and using a damp beauty blender. Definitely full coverage, definitely gets rid of any flaws, any blemishes, any rednesses with one go. I personally, between the brush and the Damp Beauty Blender, prefer the Damp Beauty Blender because this foundation did settle very, very quickly. So with the brush, I felt like as I was buffing, the product would settle and I didn't get it all the way into my hairline and little spots that are a little bit drier on my skin. So the Beauty Blender really did help blend it a little nicer. Both sides went on beautifully with primer or with without. I actually like the side without primer right now, but we'll just see how it works throughout the day. I'm going to go into my brows because I am using this Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. And I'm just going to use this Hourglass, let's do Luminous Light. And I only blot on powder where I tend to get a little bit oily. For the eyes, I'm going to be playing with this Everyday Eyes palette and this is Earthy Elements using the Milani brushes as well. So I just used this whole entire palette on my eyes and I'm going to go in with my own eyeliners and mascara to finish off the eye look. Eyes are done. I'm going to go in with this baked bronzer from Milani and this is golden, number six. I'm going to use this fluffy brush. Oh, that's really pigmented. I'm going to go in with my Milani blush that I've owned forever. It's the Luminoso blush and this is like my favorite version of like a peachy pink. I like this more than the higher end version which is the NARS Orgasm blush. I can't wear that one and it's too glittery but this one is the perfect version of something like that. I'm gonna go in with this blush brush. I'm wearing a lot of makeup today for going to Costco. <laughs> If you guys want to see what I get at Costco, I do Costco hauls on my second channel, More Serene. I've been loving their lip stuff. This is the lip liner in Spice. So I've been loving this liquid lipstick, the shade in Loved, which is number 12. 
And what I actually like to do is use the metallic lipsticks, which are going to be limited edition, so I highly encourage you guys to order them if you wanted these. This is in the shade 01 Chromatic Addict, and once this is dry, I like to just dab it on the center of the lip to really make it look poutier. So this is what my makeup looks like all together, all on, and it's about 1 p.m. right now in the afternoon. I'll do a check-in in a few hours, and then my final thoughts at the end of the day on how everything's wearing and what I think about all of the products. Okay guys, it is, um, what time is it? It is 3 p.m. I've had the foundation on for two hours. This is a natural light, and I'm really happy with how it looks. I look a little crazy because I'm dressed super casual, but I have a full face of like made up face. And the lipstick is still on even with the little metallic. I've had two fish tacos, some truffle french fries, and Hubs kissed me a couple times. And it's still looking really good and strong. Blush looks really good still. And so does the bronzer. The foundation, I'm really impressed because it's definitely full coverage, but it looks really nice. And it looks like full coverage makeup, but not cakey. You can see it's still wearing nicely. It's controlling my oil, even though I didn't use any mattifying primers or setting sprays. And it looks good on my dry areas too. Looks good on dry areas, look good on oily areas. Very, very happy so far. Hey guys, it is almost eight o'clock. I've had the foundation on for about seven hours and I'm getting quite oily. However, I've been sweating up a storm. It's really hot today and the foundation hasn't broken up. It's just my oils are coming through. And remember, I did not use setting powder all over my face. I only used that Hourglass Ambient Light Powder. So I'm actually really impressed and then look at the lips. Lips still looks good. I've had like coconut water, I've had some water, Hubs keeps kissing me, I'm like I'm in the middle of a tester Tuesday. So the eye makeup is good, the brows look, they're still on. I wasn't happy with how I filled my brows today but the brows are still there. Blush and bronzer are still there. And the foundation is actually wearing really nicely. So I'm going to blot and come right back and show you what it looks like after I blot it. So I just used one of my Tatcha oil blotting sheets and that soaked up all the oils. I look good, I look fresh. Foundation still wearing nicely. Pretty happy and I've had it on for seven hours, S, seven hours-ish. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Hey guys, I am back for my final check-in and my final thoughts. It is now 11.05 p.m. I've had the foundation on for about 10 hours now. I'm pretty tired. Um, I think this looks really good. I think the foundation did a really great full coverage job, but still looking like skin. It's not super matte, it's not super dewy. If you have oily skin or you tend to sweat and glisten throughout the day, definitely use a mattifying primer and a setting powder. I did not use a real setting powder. I used like a radiant powder, which not something I'd recommend if you want the foundation to be oil-free. Uh, the foundation is oil-free marketed as a medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistant, and sweat resistant. I definitely recommend that this is water slash sweat resistant. It was really hot today and I was running around the house like really cleaning and trying to pick things up. Plus we were out for a little bit so I did go out into the sunshine. I did glisten a little bit and I feel like it really did withstand the heat, withstand my natural glistening and any of that area where I typically find that foundation breaks up on me, it did not. I love that it's a medium to full coverage and it really just looks beautiful on the skin. Do I recommend the foundation? I definitely recommend this foundation, especially if you're looking for a drugstore foundation. I am very, very picky with my foundations. You guys know that. I try so many out. It really takes a lot to impress me, and this one really did impress me. With the lips, I have not retouched my lips whatsoever. The color is still there. I had like a greasy dinner too. It, I had a rotisserie chicken and I wiped my mouth. The color and the lip liner is still there. Now obviously if I was going out I'd reapply the matte lip, liquid lipstick and what really impressed me was the metallic 
little highlight I did lasted up until I ate the greasy chicken and that was in the center of my lips. This didn't give me that weird nasty butthole lip that happens with some liquid lipsticks. It's not super drying. It doesn't dry out my lips at all. In fact, I feel like it just feels really comfortable on the lips. It dries down to a matte finish so it's not going to feel super hydrating either. If you really wanted to, you could just blot some lip balm on to rehydrate your lips but it did not dry out my lips and I am pretty sensitive to liquid lipsticks and I can only wear certain formulas. So this is a great one to have especially since it is so affordable. The problem is finding it at your drugstore where it's available because I do know that drugstores get picked over very, very quickly. Brushes are super soft. I feel like the foundation brush is a little too soft though and I want to try this more with a powder foundation but I do like that they are offering affordable synthetic cruelty-free brushes on the market and I love 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 this powder brush this is like densely packed and it's ultra soft and it really picks up the product and helps you blend it out so these are really great the eye brushes are fun um, I really loved this one which was the crease brush I found it really helped define my crease so if you have less uh, deep set eyes like I do this will actually really help get into that crease now I did really like the brow powder. I'm not happy with my brows though because I need to get them done and trimmed. So it was a little difficult for me to create the brow look I prefer. However, I do really like the brow powder. I think they're very pigmented. They did last all day and I love this bronzer. I think this bronzer is so beautiful. It's got a little bit of shimmer. It's very, very warm and it looks really pretty. It's still on. It lasted all day on me. And the blush, which was my go-to Luminoso from Milani is also beautiful. That's lasted all day as well. The eyeshadows have lasted all day and I did not use an eyeshadow primer today. So the eyeshadows on their own lasted all day on my eyes. No creasing, no smudging, nothing weird happening there. Overall, very happy with Milani Cosmetics. Very happy with all the products I played with and tried out. If you enjoyed this video and this in-depth look at the foundation as well as some of the other products that Milani does have to offer. If you'd like me to do any Tester Tuesdays or any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. If you tried out any of these products, please let me know what you think of them because it's a great place for us to gather information, gather knowledge and experiences, and share it with each other. If you're new to my channel, my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy because I truly hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. If you haven't subscribed yet, yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday with tons of bonus uploads throughout the week. I've been going on a four to five video upload a week currently, so make sure you catch up on all of my videos. I also have a blog, all of my social medias, and my second channel, which all is linked in the description box below or around my head right now. And I hope you have a wonderful, lovely rest of your day, and I hope to see you back here very soon. Bye!